Hey, I'm Sally Epstein and I do lots of different art. This past couple of years, I've written two books and illustrated them. And in addition to that, I do paintings with acrylic paint of moss and Spanish moss. And I also do large scale sculptures and also some jewelry. My personal definition of art um, is, I believe art is everywhere. And I believe everybody is an artist, whether they choose to believe it or not. But whether you're cooking, you're styling hair, you're um, doing photography. And I also believe with the new phones now that so many more people are finding um, to be an artist now. But I used to be an art teacher and I used to have parents that would come to me and they say that their kids were not artistic and art was just kind of irrelevant. And it used to irritate me because I felt like the chairs that we're sitting on are art, the clothes that we wear are art, the everything that we do is art. And for people to not be able to see how creative and broad that art is um, used to frustrate me. I've always done art. Um, I always figured I would do something in the creative world. And for a long time, I thought I was gonna go into the culinary arts, but that tended to have a lot of, um, a lot of hours and hard work. And I didn't wanna do that because I knew I wanted to have a family and be close to my family. So I kind of fell back on the art, but I think knowing I wanted to do art has been easy, but knowing exactly what kind of art and what kind of artist I've been is still a challenge and I'm still struggling with it. But I feel the more that I work, that I'm getting closer to the kind of artist I want to be. I have learned, I have a lot of really wonderful friends that are artists. Um, for a long time, I had a home studio, which was really pretty isolating and very limiting with um, meeting people. And I've been in this studio for about seven months now, and that's just opened my eyes to meeting so many more people and meeting so many more creatives and more opportunities have come my way. So I'm just really grateful to have this opportunity to, to be around so many wonderful creatives. I mean, for a challenge for me is I think art should just be in the beginning of every elementary school all the way up. And I don't feel like there's an, a true equity of schools that have less money compared to rich schools. You can go into a private school in Buckhead and they have like every resource that's possible. But I have a school right around the corner from me that they're just begging just to have basic paint. And I just don't feel that that's fair for, for children. Um, but the misconception is there is a gallery in town that wouldn't, wouldn't sponsor black artists. And, and he got a lot of slack about it. And I, I think that's well deserved because right now black art is huge and it's beautiful. And then my neighbor across the street, she's from Mexico and she has some of the most amazing art ever. So I just, I don't like stereotypes and but unfortunately they're there and I think they suck. My father always supported me with my art career and mainly because I wasn't a great student and he always gave me a lot of support and I've dated someone that didn't give me the support and luckily I was able to marry somebody that gives me a ton of support with um, encouraging me and not laughing at my ideas and is there to, to help me whenever I need them. I, to me, that's my biggest support. Uh, my method of just if you look around the studios, I'm really interested in a lot of different things and I, sometimes I would like to learn how to weld. I would like to learn how to cut large gigantic shapes of metal, which I've had other people to do for me. And I'm, I'm slowly learning, but, um, but at the same time, I, I wanna do so much that I need to tap it down some because I need to focus on less instead of always expanding more. Well, I'll just start with basic teaching of the Christianity is they would have stained glass windows to help teach the biblical lessons, mainly to, to, for the people that most people were pretty ignorant and couldn't read and write. And so it's always been a wonderful tool to help kids. And even today I met with the librarian and they were talking about how 
um, art and books and having graphic novels is a really great way for kids not to get fatigued with only words that but the art of the pictures of these graphic novels really helps lift them up and make it easier to go further as they read to tell the story. Um, I Contemporary wise I think I live in Atlanta we're really blessed that there's so much art that the city of Atlanta is always sponsoring having a lot of art throughout the city. We have the Beltline that offers a lot of art and exposed to different things um then just everywhere but i but to me my problem is is i see art as i mean it's everything it's <laughs> I, and i'm repetitive on that but it's the tvs it's the commercials it's the newspapers it's the magazines and we're always and now with TikTok and social media it, we're just bombarded with lots of great art <laughs> sometimes i push myself really hard and uh, my body just says stop and I have to listen to myself when it says stop and I just need to sometimes just like kick back and read a book or read a magazine for a day or or, or watch TV or stream something but basically I like to push myself hard but I my body tells me when I need to slow down.